Hey you guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Cash Money Gabs taking over for the 99 and the 2000s and cashmoney.gabs on Instagram. If you haven't already, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Here on my channel, I do cash stuffing videos, budget with me's, and all the things money and budgeting related. For today's video, we are doing a cash unstuffing. Today is December 2nd, so Merry Christmas. Utah did not come to play when it came to December we literally had a storm I don't know if it was a bad storm because I was sleeping but I woke up and there was snow everywhere it's already melted but that's what's going on in Utah so love that but we're just gonna go ahead and get started into the unstuffing this weekend we did do our Christmas shopping and we got everybody done everybody i don't really have a lot of people to buy for i well at least i felt like but we had a thousand dollars and we spent less than that i am going to be doing a video just showing like what we bought i already deposited that money into my checking account so i'm not going to really be like unstuffing it it's already there so i just need to like pay back my card but we did spend less than a thousand dollars on the gifts we still have to send it out to everybody that will probably be more so I didn't really factor that in when we were shopping, but we were still under a thousand dollars. So yay for that. But make sure you turn on your post notification. That way you can see what we bought for Christmas. But for this unstuffing, we are doing November 25th through December 1st. A lot of things went on. We did spend a lot for Christmas, but we're not going to go over that in this video. On Friday the 25th, we did not spend anything. I don't know what we did on Friday. Friday, but we didn't do nothing Saturday is when we did all of our Christmas shopping I was off that day so we just spent all day out at the malls doing everything but in between we did get Starbucks that was six dollars and six cents let me get out six dollars so I made some change in my spending envelope so it was six dollars and then we did go to Golden Corral. We haven't been to a buffet in like so long. We used to go to buffets like every Sunday. It was like a family thing that we always did, but then we stopped. So we went to Golden Corral. That was $40. So that came out of date night. So we did Starbucks, that. And then we only put gas once this week, but... It's because my car is so disrespectful. It is, I don't know what it's going through. It shouldn't have to go through anything because it's just a car, but it's been doing some weird things. I'm hoping that it's something simple. So my car is in the shop because they have to like keep it for a couple of days. So we only put gas once because we did have to get a rental. Yay, right during the holidays. Don't you guys love when that happens? I swear to God. God, if I could fight my car, we would throw hands. Whatever, we only had to put gas once. Um, and the cool thing is they did like waive the gas for our rental. So hopefully we don't have to put gas in the rental because that's literally like a free tank of gas. We put gas on Saturday and it was $36.14. 20, 35, and 6. Oh, that was the other thing. I didn't write it here, but um, I did use some of my gas money for tamales. I don't know why I didn't think that she only took cash and I, I didn't have um, like anything else. So I took out $25 from my gas envelope. So yeah, that's where that went, which kind of worked out. We didn't have to put a lot of gas, but could you guys say no to tamales? Like, come on. And oh my God, you guys, those tamales are so, so good. Um, we are gonna go look for her again this weekend to get more. So that was everything on Saturday. Then on Sunday, we did go to Walmart. And um, I mentioned before that we had a gift card for like two grocery stores so we used that and then I we went to Trader Joe's I forgot what we got there but I did actually use my credit card because I, I didn't have my envelopes with me when we went grocery shopping so it was 61 38 20 40 60 
$61. So usually I don't use cash for groceries, but this time I did since I didn't have my envelopes with me. So we have $3 left over in groceries. Then of course we got yogurt that was $11.50 and that's going to come out of the spending envelope this week. So $10 and then $12.00. Then on Sunday, we did actually go to McDonald's. So we got, um, it was $41.87, 20, 30, 40. Oh my gosh, look, perfect, $42. Two. And then Monday, Tuesday, we didn't buy anything. Well, that's a lie. We I did spend money, but it was on like some Christmas stuff. But as far as like spending or whatever, we didn't do nothing. It has been too cold, you guys. And then Thursday, um, I already took this money out. I paid our AAA membership. That was $59.99. So that was $60. And then this came out of our annual binder, like our annual um, subscriptions. So it was $60. I already paid that to my card. So this has to go back to the bank. And then also Planet Fitness came out of my checking account. Why the hell we pay $25 a month for a membership? And then there's an annual fee on top of that that makes like no sense please someone explain that to me like why not just add that on top of the monthly fee I don't know I don't understand it like came out and I was like oh my gosh I forgot that Planet Fitness does this it's so annoying I remember when Planet Fitness it was just like ten dollars i guess it still is ten dollars for the regular card but i don't know i know it was way cheaper like back in the day that's why everybody went there but now they're playing too much is all i'm gonna say i'm gonna put this to the side because it's not really what we spent and i've already yeah i'm gonna put this to the side i'm not gonna include it in like what we spent since this is for bills or well, that was wednesday and then thursday this is where all the fun stuff happened so I've been meaning to take my car in because it's been doing some funny stuff. I don't know how much it's going to be. I hope it's not that bad. If it is, I hope my warranty covers it. But we did have to get a car uh, rental. They said it would take two days and it was like going into the weekend. So um, I knew I wasn't going to hear back from them till Monday. The rental was $529.83. Now that is with the... Um, what is it on top of it? Like the security deposit or whatever. So technically it's supposed to be $329, but that's for a whole week. Hopefully they can fix my car by Monday. Then I will just get like a refund back. But I took my car maintenance money out thinking that like just in case I needed to pay for like something with the car. Like I thought they were going to be able to fix it that day. So I took all the money out and I was going to pay it. But then they said like, no, we have to keep it. So we had to go get the rental. I'm just going to leave my car maintenance money in my bank account and use that for the rental. I'm trying not to use my emergency fund for the car and I really don't want to use my credit card so I have a cash stuffing and I'm putting like $300 towards like car maintenance or whatever hoping that it'll be enough but if not I may just go into my emergency fund because I really don't want to go more into debt but we'll see I don't know I have like all these thoughts in my head and I don't know what to do mainly because I don't know how much everything is going to be does that give anybody else like anxiety when they just don't know how much is something is going to be because it drives me crazy because then I can't plan things out I don't know it just it makes me so anxious but yeah that's my whole long spiel about the car i'm probably just overreacting and it won't be that big of a deal but we'll see please pray to the car gods for me you guys um i'm not gonna mark that off just yet we'll just ignore that for now then we are going to the zoo lights this weekend we're gonna take my nephew i'm so excited so that was 50 dollars for all of our tickets that's coming out of family fun so we're going to take my nephew and his dad and then I think we're going to go to um, Dave and Buster's afterwards uh, to play games because the zoo lights will take like maybe like an hour so we'll do something fun after that. So 20, 30, 40, 50. So I'm going to put this back. 
And then on Amazon, I did order two things. What were they? One thing was for my eyes. I bought like some eye wipes. Oh my gosh, you guys. Okay, so um, it might look a little bit different because I just got a call from the dealership that has my car. Oh my God, it's so crazy. I was just talking about this. I was just freaking out about it. And it's only going to be $100 to fix my car because um, it's still under warranty and the whatever warranty people are going to cover it. So thank you to the car gods i will never disrespect you again but oh my gosh you guys this oh i'm so happy now now i can change some things in my budget with me because i i originally put away like 300 dollars because i thought it was going to be more i thought i was going to have to use my emergency fund i was freaking out oh my goodness look at god you guys ain't god good that's all i gotta say anyway there is one other thing that's wrong but they quoted me like 500 dollars, but they said it's not like absolutely needed i'm gonna call my grandpa first of all and I tell him like, hey, what is this and how much it should be? That's the number one thing because I don't want to get bamboozled. So yeah, I'm so happy. I don't know what to do now. What am I doing? With Amazon, I bought some like eye wipes. That's where I was. So it was $21. Um, so I need more change. So 10 So it was $21. So that's from uh, the health envelope since it was for my eyes. Then the last thing um, was also from Amazon. I ordered books. I've recently became a reader. I used to love reading when I was younger and then I just stopped because like social media. So I started reading again and I ordered two books. My boyfriend bought me some books from Barnes and Noble. Biggest mistake, so expensive there, but he's the one that bought it. Um, I bought some books there and then I bought some books on Amazon. So from Amazon, it was $20. That's gonna come out of my envelope. I'm like so excited to start reading again. I really, really enjoyed it. I forgot how much I loved reading. I actually used to get like bullied really bad because of that in like high school and middle school. So yeah, but I'm so excited to get some new books. I need a book envelope, I feel like, um, or I'm kind of leaning towards like a Kindle. So let me know if you guys like reading um, and if you have a Kindle, what Kindle would you recommend? Because I'm kind of leaning towards that and then just buying like some books here and there. That is everything for the unstuffing. So I already added up everything over here. The Apple card, we it was $251.81 and then the Discover card was $36.14. So total we spent this uh, week $287.95. I'm not going to add the car rental just yet because I don't know how much it's going to be. She did tell me though it is going to take a while to fix it. So I'm looking at like next Wednesday or Thursday so it's looking like we're gonna have to keep the car for a full week but I don't know I'm just grateful it's not like two thousand dollars to fix like the engine or something stupid like that very grateful about that so let's add this up this should be 287.95 or at least 288 I'm not counting this because that just needs to go back to my checking account since I already paid those things so two four six eight one Two, four, six, eight, two, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty, one, two, three, five, eighty, eight right yes 88 so 288 perfect we did it correctly this week that is it for today's cash unstuffing thank you all so much for sticking with me to the end of this video thank you so much for all of your support make sure to like comment and subscribe it helps me out so much and turn on your post notification bell that way you never miss another one of my videos i will talk to you all later bye now